Hey guys, welcome back to Mayfield Ranch. I'm Gary, and today I'm going to show you how to fix a couple drawers. Okay, so let me show you what we got here. It looks like the previous renters tried to repair this drawer before they moved out. And as you can see, uh, everything's, it's, it's a mess. It won't shut all the way into the um, cabinet. So I gotta rip it all apart and line everything back up, glue it and staple it back together. All right, there's this one right here. I actually, um, it was almost identical to this one, not lining up and not shutting correctly. So I had to get all the, the glue off of it in order to get it all lined back up. I'm gonna put sta new staples in it, new, I'm gonna use new glue, um, act the real glue. This, this glue that they put on here is not the correct kind of glue. See how it expands like that? It's not what you want. You need actual wood glue. This is this. And this stuff expands, you can't use it. You have to actually grow a wood glue. You can't use the regular stuff. What's the expanding stuff for? Uh, like ceramics or stuff like that. But you can't put a lot of it, you gotta put just a little bit. This is the proper glue to use. This is a uh, wood glue by Gorilla. Um, and um, I recommend this glue to anybody that wants to do a project like this. Now the staples are still in this piece of wood, if you can see there. So we're gonna try to just reuse those. Uh, Gary's gonna hammer on a bit just to try to gently back those staples out so that we're able to just reuse them. If for some reason you can't reuse them or you can't pry them out, then you can cut them off and just put new ones in. Why are you doing that? Oh, uh, so I can get it together before I put the nails in. So it'll fit in this groove. I gotta get it to fit inside this little, little groove right here. So, that's a little groove. Oh, there's an issue right there. See that? So you guys, the biggest part of this project is really just getting all of this Gorilla Glue cleaned off of these drawers. They used the wrong glue and that made this a lot more challenging than if we just had to fix a couple broken drawers. I think I'm going to put a little glue around this too.
So essentially to repair these drawers, what you need to do is get clean working surfaces so that you can put everything back together and it will fit correctly. There's a groove on all sides that fit the bottom right into the groove and you put them back together. We're using a little bit of wood glue, some staples, if the staples that were currently there weren't able to be hammered back in, and some clamps just to hold everything together while the glue dries. this old glue off that ain't supposed to be here. Yeah, it's broke right here, huh? Mm -hmm. It'll be all right. So we appreciate the tenants tried to fix it, but they didn't know what they were doing. And they really just made a real mess of it. It made a lot more work. It's taken quite a bit of time to get all of this Gorilla Glue off so we can fix it correctly. Can't be any old glue on here, otherwise it's not gonna it's not gonna fit back together flush. So it's gonna be cleaned real good. Alright. So there's the drawer for that. Front front pit plate. So we'll just lay that there for that. And then we'll start turning this other one apart. I just gotta, I gotta make sure that I, I just gotta rip this back apart and then clean all the, the joints and um, seams, get all the old glue off of it so that um, I can put it back together the correct. This is already coming apart. This drawer actually wouldn't even uh, push in all the way in the cabinet. So we, um, we knew we had a problem to begin with. So we pulled it out and we've seen this mess. This stuff right here? Yeah. I'm just gonna chisel it off. But I gotta pull the drawer apart first without breaking it. Now I don't really have any place to staple to, but we'll see. I'll try to make it work. If anything, I can get put a piece of wood right here and staple this together like that. So I can make it, I just have to give it some place where it has bite in order to staple back together. But as you can see, they broke it, the, the drawer pretty good right here. So that's why the staple isn't really gonna, it's not gonna catch anything.
white shoes. Oh yeah, they they matched the walls in, in the rental. Um, I wanted to get some that matched. This right here is gonna make it difficult. It's all this broken stuff right here. I'm gonna try this piece of wood to make a brace for that drawer because it's I always try to make it a little bit bigger, that way I keep it need to trim it. See, I'm gonna have to trim it about just take that about an eighth off. do is I'll staple some right here put a couple staples here with some glue a couple staples here with some glue that way I have somewhere to where the drawer I have bite to put back together because there's no bite left right here I would just replace this whole piece right here but it's glued yeah Bunch of staples, yeah, that's Just doing a bunch more glue clean up here. And Gary's just test fitting this right here before he puts glue on it. Just to make sure everything's aligned and it's gonna fit properly. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Alright. Oh. So basically you're just going to put all four sides back on to that bottom. That bottom's going to fit in the groove and then once it's all done, let it dry before we take it back in and put it back in the rental house. So this kitchen drawer, it's all fixed too. He's got the clamps off of it. The glue's all dried. He's just going to trim down these staples but it looks pretty good and it's ready to go back in the kitchen over at the rental. Cut these off so they don't poke anybody. Right there. Okay, I got these all taken care of. All the drawers are fixed. Um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, clean up this area right here and get them installed. Hopefully tomorrow, and get everything else finished up over there throughout the week. See you guys next week. Okay guys, throughout this week, we'll keep giving you updates on what we're doing over at the rental house. See you guys in the next video.